Welcome to Flat News, as flatmates celebrate their first DIY success. It's an entertainment unit. Patent pending. In other news, the flat receives another letter of complaint from Emma in flat six, talking of excessive noise levels. <laughs> stealing their internet. Got it. And lazy bin bag disposal. The bin bag situation is blamed solely on third flatmate, proper grown up, and all round boring man, Mike Dowling. Late last night, Dowling had this to say. <laughs> To the letter, flatmates are currently formulating an official response. A response in no way directed to Emma's flatmate, Sophie, who was unavailable for comment, mainly because I'm in love with her, and if we spoke even for a second, I would definitely die. She is the most beautiful girl in the world. Not in the world. Yes, yeah, she is. Jennifer Lawrence, grown-up Hannah Montana. And finally. Come on, Oprah. And finally, yesterday in the pub, flatmate Nazos Manilow made the incredible claim that lobsters cannot die. We are now joined by Naz in the studio. Thanks for coming in. It's great to be here. Now, Naz, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, it's quite simple, really. Lobsters are immortal. So lobsters can't die? Yes, that is correct. And what do you say to the many that are claiming that is total bollocks? Well, I mean, I have read nearly an entire Wikipedia article. Well, that's your only source. If you just let me finish... This is not the first time you've been accused of talking shit, is it? In 2010, you claimed that pork was a type of beef. Yes, porky beef. Last February, you insisted that a boy at your school could lay eggs. You showed me the egg! And only last week, you were saying that smoking makes babies stronger. Okay, well, maybe I did read that wrong, but I'm telling you, Ollie Clark pooped out a omelette. Lobsters live forever. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. 